to discuss is distinguished university professor at Toro College and author of Saving Free Speech, Thane Rosenbaum. Thane, thank you very much for uh, joining us. I spoke about this in the last hour, at the top of the hour, um, as well, with uh, Professor Alan Dershowitz, and he said that uh, he absolutely does not expect a Roe versus Wade to be overturned um, as a result of this. But then we also had this portion of Mississippi's um, Attorney General's statement where uh, Lynn Fitch says, the questions presented in this petition do not require Roe versus Wade to be overturned. So what is it that could happen otherwise? Well, Heather, she says that, but really the brief is very clear where she's saying, this is, we're having an argument back to 1973. Uh, she's essentially saying, or Mississippi saying, that uh, the Constitution does not grant a woman a right to give a uh, right to privacy mm -hmm. in, to terminate her pregnancy, uh, nor does it prevent a state from prohibiting and banning abortion. So she's saying, you know, that the original underpinnings, the constitutional underpinnings for Roe v. Wade and Casey versus Planned Parenthood are wrong. It's true that they don't have to overturn it, but this is a solid attack on Roe v. Wade. Uh, essentially, what this case is really about is, are all abortions before 24 weeks? See, Roe v. Wade stands for the proposition mm -hmm. that a woman has a right to terminate her pregnancy up to 24 weeks. At that point, the fetus has viability outside the womb. So for decades now, that's the standard. Mm -hmm. And Mississippi said, well, why not 15 weeks? Why does it have to be right. 24? And that's what this case is really about. Can can a state prohibit banned abortions before 24 weeks? Right, and several states have made that argument that the science has changed and that we now know what we did not know back in 1973. I think that it was also reaffirmed in another case in 1992, but that the science has changed that shows that the viability is at a much um, you know, earlier date, not 24 weeks, but instead uh, 15 weeks and so on, as several other states have been attempting to argue. Um, why White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki promised that President Biden will fight back for Roe versus Wade back in May. So listen to this. And the president and the vice president are devoted to ensuring that every American has access to health care, including reproductive health care, regardless of their income, zip code, race, health insurance status, or immigration status. As such, the president is committed to codifying Roe, uh, regardless of the unrelated, all it's all related, but to the outcome of this case. So what do you think will be the outcome of the case, just looking at the Constitution? Well, you know, Heather, that's interesting when you heard that statement, mm -hmm. because uh, the court, the Mississippi is literally saying this shouldn't be in the courts, mm -hmm. that this is a political matter, and the courts took this over with Roe v. Wade, and that the state of Mississippi is saying, let the people decide. This should be part of the political process. So it's interesting that both the White House's position is that we will try to codify it, and Mississippi's position is, is similar to saying, I don't think you've got the people on your side. I mean, Mississippi's is simply saying mm -hmm. that the tide has turned, the sentiment has changed, and, and, and the state's interest in an unborn child, uh, or for that matter, even the health of mothers, is now something people are more thinking about. And it's not just the science, Heather. Mm -hmm. Mississippi's also saying society has changed that uh, adoptions are easier, that women are not burdened by pregnancies in the same way mm -hmm. uh, because of economic income opportunities. And remember, there's Mississippi and the other states have fetal heartbeat laws. So right. forget 15 right. weeks, Heather, now you're talking six weeks, right? Saying yeah. at the time of a fetal heartbeat, the state has an interest in protecting a human being at six weeks. Mm -hmm. So any number of things can happen, but one of the things that we're hearing is that half the states, if they rule in favor of Mississippi, half the states are gonna aggressively seek to prohibit abortions right. before well, the, before 24 weeks. Here's what former President Trump um, had to say. He called out Democrats for supporting late-term abortion, uh, which they denied. Listen. In the ninth month, you can take the baby and rip the baby out of the womb of the mother just prior to the birth of the baby. Now, you can say that that's okay, and Hillary can say that that's okay, but it's not okay with me. And so here's the other issue that comes into play here, um, the, the politics of it all, because 
the date of a decision would be uh, spring or summer of 2022 if the court hears this case in um, October. So that puts it before the 2022 midterms. Well, look, Heather, if you're worried about this and you're, and you're pro-abortion, you really want to hope that the Biden administration and the Democrats can actually do two things, pack the Supreme Court, <laughs> you know, because that would fix things, or, or find a way through, through, through Congress and the Senate, make it part of the political process, or what you're saying, make it part of the presidential election. Right. Make this directly an issue saying, look, we're taking this away from the Supreme Court uh, because this most recent Mississippi case essentially said that 50 years of, of jurisprudence of Roe v. Wade is out is over. And that right now states retain an interest, uh, their own state interest that supersedes the right to privacy of a woman. Remember, Mississippi saying all of that constitutional argument from 73 is just made up. They're saying all of it was wrong. There's nothing in the Constitution that that prohib that provides mm -hmm. for an abortion, and there's nothing in the Constitution that prohibits a state from banning an abortion. And that's what's really shocking about this case. This is a direct hit yeah. on Roe v. Wade. They may say they're not trying to overturn right. it, but they are. Yeah, because she went on to say the conclusion that abortion is a constitutional right has no basis in text, structure, history, or tradition. Uh, that Thane, sounds like she's trying to ban, yeah. she's trying to overdo turn yeah. Roe, right. Yeah, but uh, give more leeway to states, I think, is the ultimate goal. Uh, Thane, thank you so much for joining us. Anytime. Right. Turning to another contentious legal fight, this is happening in a Catholic school in Michigan uh, where they filed a lawsuit against the state arguing the state's previous mask mandate